Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we have more rumors circulating around Xbox, the Xbox games ecosystem, and if they are indeed coming to PlayStation. This is all coming off the heels of Microsoft shutting down multiple studios, kind of moving away from the Xbox name and coining Microsoft Gaming, which is just awful. Very corpo speak in my opinion. But this information comes from Jess Corden. If you know him on Twitter or, you know, Windows Central, where he basically breaks a lot of news, leaks, rumors, and stuff, he's normally pretty accurate. But before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to say, if you want to stay up to date with Halo, Xbox stuff, this is the place to be. I know over 90% of you aren't subscribed. YouTube tells me this constantly, and it also says to just remind you all. Honestly, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. All you have to do is hit that sub button, and it means a lot to me. Anyways, in this piece from Jess Corden, he talks about exclusive first-party games that could be heading to PlayStation with a new initiative at Microsoft that is dubbed Project Latitude, which makes sense. Latitude, you know, it's like going across. Basically, he talks about how the impatient and short-sightedness of Microsoft and how there's a debate and unease within Microsoft about whether this project is a good idea is currently being played out. And basically, this is all around getting more money. This also comes on the news that Xbox completely has lost, you know, any type of share in the console market. I believe the statistic is in the last quarter, they were outsold by PlayStation units by 5 to 1, which is pretty insane to think about. Now, if you start to uh, believe in conspiracy theories and you start connecting dots, you do know that Halo released a new trailer showing everything that Halo Infinite has gotten. We have the Xbox Game Showcase next month, or I guess Microsoft Gaming at this point. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is my opinion. I'm not sure I see a, a ton of cons with giving... PlayStation players or console owners the ability to play Halo at this point. Personally, I'd love to see more people enjoy the game. I'm sure that you will let me know in the comments down below. Again, I do read all the comments. I can definitely see how PlayStation could have a monopoly if Microsoft, Xbox decide to not make any more consoles going forward. That would be pretty crazy. But if they want to increase profit margins, putting Halo Infinite on PlayStation, even MCC on there, would probably help that out. Sea of Thieves has been on the uh, PlayStation Store in the top spot for over a week, so I think that's probably what we would see. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen. If you can, you know, kind of... Th I, I really hope that the Xbox Game Showcase gives us something Halo-related at this point. There's been so many rumors and leaks and stuff. I would love to see some type of mention. I think a lot of people are expecting to see Gears of War stuff. So, I guess let's see what happens. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring.